Hello, uh, my name is Sandra Hegedus and uh, I'm from Sao Paulo, Brazil. I've been living in Paris for almost 26 years and I've uh, founded um, Sam Art Projects uh, in 2009. Uh, it's, um, it's a project which is totally non-for-profit and brings artists from all over the world to Paris uh, where we have them in residency and we developed their projects and we showed them at Palais de Tokyo. Also, I created a prize for the French scene and it's uh, exactly the other way around. The residents come to Paris and the prize winners, they are sent to a destination outside of Europe. When you want to do a project, any project, you have to have it really clear in your head. When I decided that I wanted to do something in philanthropy and, uh, and be a patron in the arts, there was a choice. I could just support existing projects, give them big checks and say, okay, I'm, I support. But I had something in my mind that I thought was lacking in the art world today. I had it very clear and I thought it was super important. When you believe in what you're doing, you can defend it. You can really say, okay, I think this is important, so I'm going to really fight for it to happen. It's the only way. If you want a project to exist, you have to defend it, and to defend it, you really have to believe in what you're doing. So when I decided that I wanted to do something, and I had to find exactly what I wanted to do, it took me a year uh, to think about it. And as I am Brazilian living in France, I had in my collection a lot of works by Brazilian artists and people would come to my place and they would ask me who these artists were and I said it's really weird because these guys are really well known in Brazil, how come nobody knows them here? People who were in good galleries, uh, who had uh, taken part in Sao Paulo Biennale, they were there, they are well known and I, I said how is it possible that the art world is still so fragmented that a guy who's a star in Brazil or Peru or Zimbabwe, how come he is not known here? Although he has a career, he is established, he sells and he's a star. So I said, what can I do to give these guys who are already very good artists, established, visibility in Europe? So this is how it, it all started. It was a challenge to find the way to do it because my worry was how do I give visibility to these guys? And I had to find a way. I thought residency, yes, residency is interesting, but residency without production means that nobody's going to see what they're doing. They can't just come and stay for six months in Paris and then leave and nobody knows they're there. They have to come, produce and show. So I had to put this idea together and convince the institutions, the public institutions, to show my artists. That was the challenge. And it worked. There's a committee, we are eight. Of course, I'm part of the committee as I am the founder of the project. Um, we change uh, committee members every three years except for uh, Jean-Hébert Martin, who is president for life, and uh, Jean de Loisy, who is president of the Palais Tokyo and one of our main partners. So it's only natural that he stays there and is part of the choices uh, made of artists to come as he shows them at Palais de Tokyo. I, I know the people in the art world and I try to bring into the committee people who have um, a very wide spectrum of, you know, uh, not only uh, local artists, but have uh, in, in their minds artists from all over the world. And I invite them. For example, uh, some of the new people who just started uh, the board this year uh, are uh, Thierry Raspail. Thierry Raspail is uh, um, director of the Museum of uh, Contemporary Art in Lyon, but he is also the, the, the man who created the Lyon Biennale. 
and I know that he has his eyes going all over the world to bring artists for the Lyon Biennale. So, of course, he's a man who will interest me. Uh, Marianne Yemsi, uh, who is really focused on Africa, uh, seemed like a very good choice because Africa interests me and I'd like to bring more and more African artists uh, in residency in Paris. There's a lot to be done. I am not Parisian, so I did not go to school with the people uh, who are now in charge of things. I don't have that network of growing up in that place. The challenge was starting and being uh, credible, uh, uh, having people believe uh, that what you have in your mind really is going to happen and that they should give you a chance. That's the biggest uh, challenge, starting. Once you start and the big projects and interesting, uh, mind-blowing projects start going on, uh, for sure um, uh, it gets easier because people see what you're doing and you are um, credible because they've seen the projects. But to start is really hard. The artists are chosen by the committee. We meet twice a year. Uh, in April, we meet to choose the resident artists. Uh, each member of the committee presents uh, uh, an artist, and uh, we discuss. Each member of the committee will defend his artist, will say, OK, this is why I think this artist should come to Paris, the, why it's important, why he needs a chance, why he needs visibility. We will discuss, and then we will vote. And the two artists who have the most points in the votes will come in the year following uh, this reunion. Um, in December, we meet to give the prize. And that's different because the French artists, they send uh, their projects from May until September. We get more than 100 projects every year. We have to read them. We select the 30 best projects which we present to the committee, they will read the 30 projects, they will choose the ones they prefer. Out of their choices, we will uh, get to five best projects. These are the finalists. And in December, we have a meeting where we discuss these five uh, uh, best projects and we choose one which will win the prize. Oh yes, I have a private collection. This is something different has nothing to do with Sam Arts. It's very personal. Uh, I only buy things that are um, part of my worries. Uh, there are different themes uh, related to things that worry me. And I, I buy myself. I have no, nobody counseling me. Uh, it's very personal. The passage of time worries me, uh, uh, the loss of uh, some insouciance, uh, um, nostalgia of childhood, um, certain things like that, no, not social, but it's a, a responsibility to keep art because you have to, when you, when you collect the art of your time, you have in your house the production, the vision of artists of your time. So you keep this and you are responsible to, to giving it to your children or to institutions. So this, this vision of our times is transmitted. This is the responsibility, keeping this vision, making it go forward. I, I can't do that because I live in only one location. I live in France, so this is my base. Although we have been uh, invited uh, several times to show what has been done by Sam in other countries. We have shown uh, our artists in countries like uh, Poland, in Belgium, in Brazil, uh, in um, uh, Korea, in Argentina. 
the works travel. Sometimes we make, we produce uh, uh, works that are, are then shown all over the world. Uh, or they give us an opportunity to, to create something new. For example, when we did uh, the show at the Cab in Belgium, they said you have to choose an artist and bring him to Belgium in residency and do a project here, which we did with a Brazilian artist called Rodrigo Bueno. So it happens that we show in other parts of the world, but um, we can't be based anywhere else because we, I physically work with the artists. I meet them, uh, we produce them, uh, we follow them, we, we do networking lunches so people meet the artists, you know, journalists, collectors. So it's a big work and we have to be there. I think that it's a responsibility to make the choices, to make the good choices, to produce this vision and to push it forward. What happens then? I don't know. I'm just hoping that I'm doing a good work with these good people in my committee, that we're being serious about it and making the, the right choices.